Yeah, we're just at the legendary Neil Tompkins. Oh fuck, let's just put that in focus for you. Just at that legendary Neil Tompkins studio, so he's been kind enough to let us have a little visit. Talk to us a little bit about his process for building landscape paintings for a Gladdy Drawing Club. Yeehaw. I just start off with abstract mark making, moving the paint around and getting a feel for the canvas. I'll kind of get some kind of spark and then I'll just kind of can just play with that. I'll generally basically start with one colour in black to yeah. deepen it because I want to start with a deeper tone than just like the raw, um, the raw canvas. Then I'll work in a reference from um, photographic collage, which is what all this is. Oh, fucking heaps and heaps of them. Cool. So that's essentially how they all how they all begin. I've definitely been panicking in the studio this way. Been, um, that happens, it's good. You like the panic? You want that. You don't want to be safe, man. Yeah, I have a lot of people in the class who just, like, have a lot of fear. That's been taught. You think they've inherited yeah, the fear sure. from institution? I don't know if you ever taught kids, man, but they just go for it. Yeah. You get taught that as you're older. That's why they say adults are harder to teach than kids. Yeah. So we're all preconditioned by then. We've already broken. We've already been broken so many times over and over again. It's like nothing left. You know, everyone's just fear mind. So do you, you, kids don't have a fear mind. They get taught that. Do you cop the fear as well? Your part? Yeah, like, it's like yeah, it's natural, but like it's like uh, it's like exciting in the same way as like you know when you like when you're swimming in the ocean. Yeah. And you get to that point just past where you can't touch the ground. It's a good point. 